The name of this poem is called Social Mediums. All right. You can already tell by the title what I'm going to be talking about. So if any of you have a social media account, you might be able to relate. So let me start this off by saying, raise your hand if you'd rather have a testimony than a Tesla. All right. Raise your hand if you know somebody with more cryptocurrency than the price he paid. That's Jesus lifeblood. OK, last last question. How many of us know more about Xfinity than we do about eternity? OK, look, I'm going to be real with y'all. I'm not talking about a dictionary when I tell you to study his words and stop looking up to these web stars. Look, I'm done with social media and giving praise to social mediums. Look, you can't put faith in Facebook, nor worship the idols of Instagram and think we can reap the benefits that come with believing in the great I am. We give our time as ties to Twitter. We only use Tinder to further the devil's agenda. Look, God is not in group me, nor is Yahweh in YouTube. Netflix is not Jehovah Nisi, and you can't find the truth in Google no matter how hard you search. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And he was crucified, so we know the truth hurts. And look, I know it's an app for that and an app for that, but check me out. It's a prayer for this. It's the connection between you and your phone creating some type of dissonance between you and God, what the distance is. A few miles or a couple inches then. I find it interesting how God says, draw near to him, but most of us put up a great wall with most Bibles just a couple inches thick. So I hope the Holy Spirit closing in to help us follow his will and close off sin. I wonder why we put our hands up to the cloud and reach up to God for things heaven sent and try to cash these holy checks with the currency of time. But our dimes be already spent. No satellites, but you do know your prayer life can reach long distances. Matthew 17, that's what the difference is, Christian. And look, don't be so plugged into money like the USB. For in God we trust is more than just a statement. It's stated factually like the fifth verse in Proverbs 3. Here's what I mean. Don't let Robin Hood have you living so good that you forsake the gathering of the saints. These platforms got us quick to replace fellowship with Snapchat and Cash App and other apps that's gone tomorrow. But here today, you want to weeble your way to financial freedom. But to truly be free, you need to seek ye first the kingdom. That means open your word before you open WhatsApp. Or at least the Bible app and find something to glorify before we find something on Spotify. We're more focused on JavaScript instead of what Jehovah did that we act like it's hard to open our Bibles. But it's really this big, like it really take energy just to flip the lid. And when we finally do, our eyes carry the burden like they carry in kids. But all of a sudden give birth when we find a series to bench. What about a series of sermons to determine the price of our sins? I mean, but we know that already because he got beat up on that cross and then rose up again. No, Derek. This piece is for those Christians that have a hard time putting down their phones and spending time with God, but ain't trying to hear it. Come on now. I know somebody. I be him sometimes. I am somebody that's getting real close to that Microsoft edge, tiptoeing the ledge between being and blasphemy, worshiping the Internet. What a catastrophe. Has that Comcast connection become your God? Little G. Pay attention, pal, because we came a long way from the days of NES and Atari. Nowadays, everything connected like Vine. You got to browse your way out. You need a compass in this Internet safari. But before you and me get in any Twitter beef, please blue check your heart and blue check with God. The Holy Spirit is my only business. Check the reviews. It's five stars. But we as Christians should have our shields of faith to quench the fiery darts, even if they come in the form of Firefox. So when the prince of the power of the air make these detractions go <coughs> viral, we can still say, hey, what's the word? Doc, which means I have to turn down the volume to really hear the word of God. And look, I get a double his props because sometimes the music be so loud. I can't hear my Lord say stop. Now, that's a problem. Yeah. We as a culture need to excel. Why are we worried about whatever celebrity is or whatever social media jail? We worried about 280 characters and when it's 280 demons trying to drag us to hell. We got a multitude of followers, but have a hard time following the only one who can lift us up when we fail. But hey, everything in moderation, because even when we do engage on these platforms, we cannot forget to follow the basics. Because unlike this poem in a week, God's word is never outdated. Mm. For example, love your neighbor, even if he don't like you either. <laughs> Why? Because we as believers 
should have our feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace, not Twitter on our fingers. Y'all not here. Or like posting just a post all the time, finessing with the filters in the Photoshop, only using church for a photo op. You want hot eyes in your comments, but all glory need to be to God. Y'all not. All that time you eating up ain't healthy. This ain't an Apple Watch. Y'all not here. But then again, I wrote this piece not to swipe left and point a finger at you, but because my spirit, too, was convicted. My phone stole my time away from God. Hashtag victim. Hashtag I'm still saved, though. So put that on your wall. Pin it. Share this poem on your Pinterest. But for real, though, time is ticking. And some of y'all are like, what is he talking about? But long story short, and it's more important to have Jesus in your heart, right, than Alexa in your house. Quick history lesson. The Holy Spirit was a DM from Jesus when he got CC'd on that cross. The king went live with a crown full of thorns and the world still wasn't connecting the dots. I mean, he mailed, or rather, was linked in to a tree, dying for you and me. Check your history, because that's really how you believe. Plus, I got enough sense to read. Lord, I know you are real. And those of us that seek truth knows that it has a certain type of appeal. He'll be your carrier to carry you when you lose signal because the battle's uphill. Trying to reach the peak of Mount Zion. Don't be like Moses' generation, stiff-necked and defiant. The promised land is just over the horizon. Excuse me, just over the horizon. And you don't need a password to get the vision like Zoom. And you don't need men to be let into God's waiting room. You want to get close to him? Put your phones down, pick your Bibles up, no need to assume. But before I leave, I want to give you the good news. The gospel like Yahoo, because we all need deliverance. Y'all see how we live in this whole generation tripping attached to our phones at the hip and tomorrow is not promised. So focus on this day instead of one day shipping. And I don't care who they is. No text message can ever replace the scriptures. And I know technology can be a blessing, especially to those that need it. But remember, Amazon still can't deliver you like Jesus. Amen.